Welcome back. Thank you so much for joining me tonight. Um, I really appreciate um, you joining me, uh, even out of your busy schedule. So um, I just want to say uh, this is Tabby Plays Games, and my name is Tabby, and we're now moving on to What Remains of Edith Finch. And today, I guess you can say it's going to be part two. Uh, before I start, I think there's sound in the game. Maybe just no music yet. And I, as I mentioned earlier in the stream, I've been thinking about this game all week. Um, besides <laughs> seeing the duplicate book titles, um, I realized that I, last time I played this, I was still very confused about the family tree. And let's see if it... Okay, good. So, as I thought about it, it makes a little bit more sense. Um, and I kept calling Edie her grandmother, but it's actually her great-grandmother. And we don't know if these people are alive, but I assume Sven and Ingeborg, they, they don't have the years because they're just the married partners of the family tree. So I got that part. And then I thought I got Barbara and Molly confused for a while as well. Um, Molly was the one that we were seeing the story of. And Barbara was the one who was in Hollywood. And... Right, so Odin and Ingeborg are parents to... Edie. And then Edie, her great-grandmother, married Sven and had these children. We don't know which is Edith's grandfather yet. I'm not sure. Probably this one is my guess. Walter, probably. So I'm still trying to keep track of this family tree. Um, and we are currently in Sven and Edie's room and that is such a cute painting of the finch finches so this is my if i'm playing edith my great grandparents room and we did peep into this room oops from the other side when we were in the hallway i do remember seeing a painting there Okay, and Odin would be her, Edie's father. I hope I got that all cor sorted out and corrected now. Okay, if, if that's correct. Um, and Edie's father wrote some books. Look, they have multiple copies of the same books here. So, is that a dwarf? Okay, and then last time here we looked through this viewfinder. I can't remember what they're called now, but we saw a short history of their past when they came over from I want to say Norway but now I can't remember either but only okay this is great grandmother's room and she was in the middle of making a quilt
1992. He was about three years old. Approximately when they were three to four years old, these prints were made. Although Barbara's yeah, no, she was about five, I guess. Okay. I'm hearing something. A couple turns land into a native haven. Oh, look. I can see who this is. Lewis died a week before we left. Edie had already started to memorialize him. So, does that mean they knew he was sick? Or they knew... Or she knew Lewis was going to pass away. Mm. Okay. Whew. Shrine sketches. Still wondering about these birds. I suppose. No, I want to say they were all finches, and I might have said this last time too, but that looks like an owl. Those are parakeets. Okay, so maybe the type of bird doesn't matter. Okay. Whoa, that looks kind of realistic. I guess it goes into the wall? That's kind of neat. I almost thought it was 3D. <laughs> okay. I see it's showing me the next room, but before we leave this room, I just want to make sure there's some more dwarves there and picture of if she's my great grandmother. That's my great grandfather. That would be my great great grandfather. Mother Grand, great, great, yep. More dwarves. Pictures of the house. Her husband's crafting table. And the year the house was built. Barbara Concepts. Oh, wait, there's more stuff here. One summer, they evacuated the island, but... Edie refused to go. For a few weeks, she was a celebrity. That was another thing I was thinking of. The timeline of the story. When we first started, um, videotapes? Um, when I looked down at my book, my hand was in the cast, but now when I reach for the doors, it's not quite a cast as if I've broken it recently. It looks more just like a wrap around the hand. So that makes me wonder why. But let's look at some old videotapes here. I hadn't thought of myself as Edith Jr. for a long, long time. 
Okay, I think I saw this last time too, but I've forgotten. Edie gave a big interview about a mole man living under the Finch house. My mom was furious. <laughs> I think that's everything in here. Wow. You can see. There's like a, looks like an escape hatch or something with a ladder out there. I don't think I can go back out. No. Hmm. Interesting books she keeps. All right, uh, her slippers. Trying to remember if she mentioned how long ago they since they left the house. Oh look, a paper shark. We've seen those sharks. Deepest sympathy. I wonder if it's typical. Oh, look. Sorry, I'm like going back and forth to the paintings, but look at that. That was the room that started it. Who is it for, actually? In a sense, this is like looking through a time capsule. See India. And a rubber ducky. <laughs> I bet there's so many cool things to find through here. Still love that painting. <laughs> okay. All right. Happy 90th birthday. Is that me? Have I always... I mean, is that 90th? It would make sense. That would be my mom. That was me. Looks like I've always worn some sort of wrap around my wrist. Like that. Whoa, pink bathroom. Wait a minute. Didn't we see a bathroom earlier? Uh, the, the, the one who was only a one-year-old. Who was it? Didn't someone only live for one year? Oh, here. Gregory. Wasn't this Gregory's room? On the other side? <sighs> Alright, let's step on in and I was trying to figure out why there was a champagne or wine bottle in the waste bin. Maybe it's not champagne. Oh, this looks the like only trace Grandpa Sam's first wife Kay left on the house was the pink bathroom. It was a pretty big trace. What? Grandpa who? His first wife. Did you say Grandpa Sam? <laughs> I can't believe I already forgot. Okay. There's a lot of pill boxes there too. 
Those look almost like Lego figures. It's a very, very pink bathroom. First wife, what the, is the first wife my grand? Ma? Okay. Hmm. Oh! What does it say? There's a secret in the bath, in this bathroom by Sven and Edie Finch. <gasps> and it's the shape of a key. Will it work? Oh! There's a secret in this bathroom. Oh, that was the key I was given? Uh, hold on. Why would they know the secret in this bathroom if they made... And it was pink. It's in the last place you would look. It isn't in the cupboard. This is fun. It's hidden in this book. Huh. Whoa. Sven gave Sam an old camera he'd refurbished. He never put it down. It's like a dark room. Sven gave Sam. I've worked in a dark room before, actually. Um, I spent about two to three years in one doing photography. It's a lot of fun. Of course, these days, not many people do photography from scratch. The chemical smell must, must be bad for you. <laughs> But it was a lot of fun um, being able to adjust exposures as you are printing it. But it was a very, it's a very expensive hobby. I think some people obviously still do it. Um, that's a, I can't tell what that is. I feel like that's Lewis up there. That looks like the paint. Looks like Lewis, the painting in Great Grandma's room. Not sure what that is a picture of. Right? Oh, they took a picture of themselves in the bathroom. This was like before 2010, right? T TikTok was a thing. <laughs> That's a lot of pictures of the same things. There's the red light. That's right, we had to turn on the red light. Milton and the swing down there, that, I don't know, that doesn't... It's... Oh. Did I forget, can I crouch in this game? What is that? Their house? Oh, okay. This was the panel that was up here. Alright. Built this dark room. I don't know how... Is that the only way to get to it? <laughs> if back then they were just... Um, come through the bathroom. Oh, look at that. 
Oh, look. Is that the same deer we saw at the beginning? Barbara Finch. I wonder where these uh, graveyards are. Oh, look at that deer. And the swing must be that one. Let's find out. Oh. Whoa. You would just crawl through here. I feel like I haven't been to a lot of places around the other way. I just started off in Molly's room and now I'm suddenly here. I don't like hearing creaking sounds. I don't think this is supposed to be a scary game, but definitely the atmosphere and adventure has been wow <laughs> for me. Oh, this was the room that was half and half. I think they were twins? Or they were very cl- Oh, no, yep. Sam and Calvin were twins. And after Calvin passed, they just kind of kept it that way. So Sam must be my grandfather. I think that's what she said. Okay. Is that possible? Guess yeah you could wait could he have given birth to three kids in that time? So my mom would have been the oldest. Wait, that makes him eighteen when he got with Kay and had eighteen when he was nineteen. Huh, I guess it's possible though. If that is my grandfather and I didn't get confused. Look at that up there. Whoa. That almost looks like a person up there. I'm imagining things now. Fort Calvin. Okay. So that's the one who died earlier. Wow. Measuring how tall they are. <laughs> Captured the five grand generals. So he wanted to be a spaceman. So in this picture, Calvin looks like the one maybe wearing a space helmet. And Sam wanted to be a, uh, be in the army. He has, uh, he's the one also doing the photography. And smoking and taking pictures. Is that not Lewis then? That was Sam. I guess his grandkid would be would look like him. Oh look, there that's a picture of them when they were younger as twins. Fort Sam. <laughs> <laughs> 19 wait what year 1950s I mean by the time he was enlisting was it Vietnam War at that point I think 50s was Korean War right I could be wrong Looks like he 
did some sort of, yeah, R O J R O T C. Aha, he's the one who's doing taxidermy. All the bugs and butterflies we saw. Taxidermy for the home. The Hardy Boys. I've heard of that. Don't think I've read it. Oh, wow, he has like a cool staircase thing up to the top of it. Wow, this is so cool. I would have wanted that as a kid. Oh, well, they got that on the other side. Wow. Their parents built such fun bedrooms for them. Can I jump down? Ah, that's too bad. Oh, I can't jump. <laughs> that would have been fun. Time for bed, and you would just jump into your bed. I see a cowboy hat and football. Kind of very normal. I guess for boys at that time. All right, let's take a look. Oh, and here's his camera. Let's take a look at Fort Calvin's room. Can't really get over there. Guess I have to touch this. I knew this. Grandpa Sam had a twin. Okay, so it is Grandpa Sam. Okay, so yeah, 11, and he kept going for another 10 years. Is that a glue around the wall? I guess so. Okay. And that he never talked about him. Hmm. I wonder if I'm getting any closer to solving this mystery. Sand Strider. Well, Sam really, not Sam, Calvin really liked space exploration, sci-fi, to command center. It's pretty good. Hope that's oil that the robot is drinking. I said Calvin, right? Whoa, whoa, not yet. Let's go upstairs first. I guess my grandpa didn't like history any more than my mom did. Oh. <laughs> oh. Wow. Candles are weird in space, but everything else is pretty cool. Let's take a look. There's a note. How I Want to Remember My Brother by Sam Finch. The thing I remember is that when he made up his mind, that was it. Am I Sam and that's Calvin then? Oh, that's cool. My brother said he'd die before he ate another mushroom. And he did. At Barbara's funeral, we swore we'd never be afraid again. And he wasn't. I think Calvin always wanted to fly. Oh no, I'm Calvin, because Sam takes pictures. But that day, he finally made up his mind to do it. To do what? To fly off the swing? 
I kind of like the storytelling, but is he seriously going to just fly off the swing? I told him going around was impossible. Maybe if I hadn't said that. Alvin, I'm not gonna tell you again. Maybe if the wind hadn't picked up. Oh no. Then maybe he'd still be here. But I doubt it. Can I stop swinging this? I can, but then the story stops, right? <sighs> I don't know if I want to do this. And I was trying to figure out when I was a cat, as Molly, what that's, who that was a statue of. I can't look around. Okay, I can only swing. All right. Let's find out. He really went flying. Mom's angry. Wow. It's pretty realistic. Uh, here we go. I think he'd already made up his mind. Oh my goodness. That's what I want to remember about my brother. Trying to go around. Oh my gosh. Uh, oh, whoa. Whoa. The baby made up his mind to fly. And he did. Oh. Calvin's story felt strangely familiar. When I was younger, I remember trying to do the exact same thing. Even though that was just a simple retelling of what happened, I felt, wow. Okay, I don't... Okay. I seriously can't believe that a swing can send you flying like that. I mean, I guess where it was built? Well, he went to space. <sighs> he also has the Hardy Boys, the Finches, a, fa a failing flock? Who wrote that book? A failing flock? Who wrote that? Ugh. The Finch. Oh, look, there's even two copies. The Finches. A failing flock. Why did I buy that book? <laughs> or why did they buy that book? Okay. After I the mean, funeral, Edie roped off Calvin's half of the room. It is kind of strange to rope off half the room, but... I mean, it's never easy when your child dies before. Actually, poor Edie, when I think about it, her 
having all these people die before you. Wait a minute. Whoa. She basically had one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Seeing ten of your generations of people die before you? Wow, I don't know how to feel about that. And the fact that I was named Edith? Mom said Grandpa Sam enlisted at 18 and never set foot in the room again. It would be weird to share your room still with your twin after Dave passed on. <sighs> secret door here? It's a caterpillar. Oh, I didn't do it right. Oh. Secret door. Yes, I will be crawling through many passages. The passages were a pretty tight fit. They'd obviously been built for smaller hands and bellies. <gasps> this was the hallway. Yeah, I haven't been up there yet to the attic. Huh. Smaller bellies, and that book there is Viking's Belly. <laughs> and Flavors of India. We've seen that book before. We saw the white rooster last time, I remember it. And there's one here called Orange Tabby. <gasps> well, I'm not orange, but that's my name. It's a Zinfandel blend. <laughs> oh, oh, this is Barbara's room. Why is there so many references to Milton? She did say Milton got through the house. I wonder if Milton went through all of this too then. Oh, this was the wine place. Do I go out here? Let's try it. I can come out here. Okay. Is this a good time to now go to Barbara's room? Or that strange door? Oh, with all the choices. We've been through. Here's Grandma and. Oh, sorry, Great Grandma and Great Grandpa's room. And here is the pink. Bathroom Gregory. We don't know why he got the bathroom. And then Calvin and Sam's room that we just been through. Okay, looks like nothing has changed. And then we had This special room, who I don't know who it was for. Was it for me? Was it supposed to have been for me? But 
Look at that whale shark. Or was it for Molly's stories? Molly's room, which to me... She had the wildest imagination yet. I don't know, Barbara's story could be pretty interesting too. Look at that saw. It has like a painting on it. Okay. I don't think anything's changed down here. Oh wait. There's an I did not look through this people. Edie told me once that every finch who ever lived is buried somewhere in the library. I see. This is the library. Probably going to come to this later. Wonder why her mother decided to seal all of these doors. Did she feel like there was a curse? I still don't know what that sound was in the garage. Alright, I guess I'm gonna go to Barbara's room first. And we still don't know what the tragedy or what had happened that caused them to just suddenly leave especially since we looked when we looked in great grandmother's Edie's room she like one time they had to evacuate the island and she refused to leave so by the time this event happened she was forced to leave okay Let's see if I can crawl back in through the wine cabinet. Okay, I can. That's good. This must have been like a break in case you need it to go back and see what you've missed. Well, hopefully I can still do the door out there after Barbara's story. Okay. Here we go. Milton came through here. Growing up, I always thought of Barbara as a child star. And she lived to about 16? 6, 16? 16. Introducing Barbara Finch, also starring Bill Bunton as Bigfoot. Okay, I thought it was King Kong. Don't like that humming sound. She was in Swan Lake. Her dress. Oh, okay, I can... Okay, that, well, first we should discover Barbara's... Uh, get me out. Get me out. There we go. Okay. She has a different collection of books. Alice in Wonderland. Two copies of Alice in Wonderland. Oliver Twist. The Hollywood Workout. 
center stage, masters of cinema. I wonder what kind of personality she had, especially being a child star. I think all of our images of child stars is that they want to, you know, it's hard for them to kind of grow up normally, so she didn't get past 16 because I never thought about how hard it must have been for her afterwards. Mm hmm. It's what I think too of being a child star and growing up improv. Okay. 16. Of all the stories people wrote about Barbara's death, I'm surprised Edie saved this one. Dreadful stories? Hmm. <sighs> All right. Uh-oh. Old Jack here with another ghastly tale inspired by America's most unfortunate family. I'm calling it The Surprise Ending of Barbara Finch. As a child star, Barbara was famous for her scream. Now at 16, she was all washed up. A has-been. But in a lucky break, she'd been asked to perform her signature scream at a local convention for monster movie fans. It was just the boost her career needed. Unfortunately, her scream hadn't aged well. <laughs> Getting better. I think you just need the right motivation. Her biggest fan and current boyfriend, Rick, was about to demonstrate when... <laughs> now that was a great scream. It was Barbara's father, Sven. He'd slipped into a table saw and had to be rushed to the emergency room. So Barbara got stuck babysitting her youngest brother, Walter. Her convention comeback was canceled. Okay, I'm hearing frustration, but I'm not hearing terror. What if I tried... A gang of hoodlums and Halloween masks have been terrorizing Orca's Island tonight. Police are urging residents to... That came from the basement. You're right. Also, I loved your delivery on that. Why is your basement door locked? Because my dad likes making puzzles in secret passages. There's a key hidden in the music box. The secret is to keep winding and winding until finally the key pops out. Thanks, babe. I'll be back in a sec. 20 minutes later, Rick hadn't returned. So Barbara went to look for him, right on cue. She reached for the music box. Wait, this is the same music box when she popped up as a ballerina when we were in the foyer. Uh. Um. I don't know how I feel about this. Also, I think the caption stopped. The music is really... Well, not there's no music, but just the the rhythm. But I have to pause this for a second. I want to see why the caption stopped capturing this. One second, please. Okay, 
Hello? Uh oh, this is not good. Why did the caption stop in the middle of the important part? Um, I think I can restart the caption. Sorry for the suspense. Is it working now? No. Um. And as she wound the key, she listened for Rick, but the house was silent. Okay. I don't know what happened to the... Do I just reset the docks here, maybe? That will get it to go again. Um, captions... I don't know what happened to it, and I apologize uh, for my friends who are watching this. They often prefer... Um, to have the captions because they are... some of them are English learners, so they want to be able to follow along. With that, but it's weird. Oh, here it goes again. Oh, that was strange. Okay. I don't know where it got paused, but we are back to the mystery. Suspense. Right? This is exactly... She found Rick's crutch and imagined the worst. The gang's leader is the infamous Hookman Killer, Dr. Carl Hamill, who impaled and then ate his family ten years ago tonight. rattled and grew still. Ah! Oh dear! Oh, that wasn't a scream. <laughs> oh. Rick? <laughs> Barb, relax. I was just trying to scare you to help you find your scream. Well, I'm not scared, Rick. I'm furious. <laughs> then act furious. All I'm getting from you now is that you're hurt and confused and you're... 
She threw him out, but she kept a little something to remember him by. Barb, have you seen my other crutch? And she was still holding it when she fell asleep watching the late, late picture show. Hours later... Barbara! Walter, what's going on up there? Ah! Walter. Okay, I'm coming up, but if this is a trick, you're dead, Walter. We gotta do this again? Whoa. Okay. Orcas Island Police describe the man as six feet tall, with a steel hook for a hand. Residents are urged to lock all doors and windows and notify the police of any suspicious activity. I returned, saw the hook man, and... was speechless. He was quite smashing. <laughs> wasn't moving, but she sensed the story might not be over yet. Listened for his breathing, but all she heard was. <laughs> Someone at the door was dying to speak to young Barbara. At the door, she heard whispering. Was coming from inside the house. What? <gasps> oh, 
Oh dear. She saw what kind of monsters they were, and she realized what was about to happen. She was going to be famous. And with her final breath, Barbara Finch gave the performance of her life. I wasn't there myself, but I hear Barbara. Was magnificent. Poor girl. She had a taste for stardom. But unfortunately, so did her fans. Of course, the police blamed it all on poor Rick, who disappeared the same night. And little Walter, hiding under his bed the whole time. He took it all pretty hard. But that's another story. As for Barbara, tucked inside the music box is all they ever found of her. Her ear. Mm -hmm. Now that's what I call a real eerie tale. <laughs> <laughs> Told me all Barbara wanted was to be remembered, as absurd as that comic was. Maybe what Edie saw was a happy ending. Oh, wow. I also think that that was a pretty wild tale as well. Uh, how are you feeling from that? <laughs> I think I need a breath. Take a breath from that. We still have quite a few stories to go. We got Sam, Walter. Although Walter was in his hiding under the bed, he lived for quite a long time. Like he passed away only five years before Edie also died. Wow, okay. Somehow she still passed away at 16. <sighs> Go fly. There's those roller skates. Nine stars. They all love books, though. There's so many books on here. <laughs> Happy birthday, Barbara. I mean, they don't tell you what month they passed away, so it could have been. I don't like the sound of that. It could have been. Wow. The winds <coughs> the wind is pretty eerie at this point. Um I'm going to take a short break. I'm going to leave you with the eerie eerie wind sounds of Barbara's room. I just need to grab a drink. So I'll be right back in just 1 minute. Thank you.
All right, I am back. Thank you so much for joining me so far. I have to say, I am having a really great time with this game. Uh, <laughs> probably, this, I'm enjoying it more than I should. I didn't know what to expect for this, but each story has been a thrill in itself. And at this point, um, we had just finished Barbara Finch's story. At least part of it from what we know. It, of course, we read the comic book version of her life, but it's still not quite clear what how she passed away or how she died. Although looking at that torn ear in the drawing is not very comforting. Ooh, that kind of gives me a little bit of chills. But we will move on. That's a pretty good um, rendering of a cardboard cutout. They even got all the little details in there. That's pretty good. I'm trying to calm down after that story it was pretty intense. Um, but now we can move on. My family has such an interesting history. Uh, that is Edith Finch's family has such a- I guess a now I know why mom doesn't like me playing with the music box. Oh. I wonder if her, if her mom then went through all of these as well. Okay. Has it gotten darker? Or just my imagination? Do I want to go up or do I want to go play with the music box now? Let's try up real quick. Mom must have locked the third floor stairs on the night we left. How did she lock everything before we left? What? It seemed like it happened so suddenly. How did they have time? I guess we still don't know. The reason why they left. And do you remember in Barbara's story, they talked about hearing a sound in the garage just like what we heard earlier when we first started the game. And the other thing I want to mention was last week I talked about the tennis ball in the garage because I want to make sure that I wasn't just imagining it. Um, it is still apparently a thing that people do. Uh, it's to help them know how far the car is in. So if your windshield gets to the tennis ball, it means the back is safe for the garage door to come down. I don't know if that still really works. Doesn't it depend on the kind of car you're driving? But in theory, that's supposed to work. And apparently, people still use it. I haven't had a car for a very long time, so I didn't know that, that people still do that. I wanted to know what that thing out there is, too. Um, also, I really like their living room. I'm going to take a picture here. Okay. It's like, why are you taking a picture of a living room? I think... Why... Did Walter's room get emptied out then? I mean, he was here. This was his room. It's funny. All those times I played with the music box and never found the basement key. I think the game is telling me to go. to the music box. We have how many more people's stories? We got Sam, which is my grandfather, Walter, 
my uncle, no, my grand uncle. We still got Edie's story. I can't even remember. I guess it was just watching the video he was drawn. And then my two uncles, my mother, my two brothers' stories to still get through. All right. Oh, look at that. Was that like this? Had the banister always had this um, fixed? Now I don't remember. All right. I feel like the sun is setting or somehow it got a little darker. Let's go downstairs and uh, play the music box. I wonder, I guess I couldn't have kept playing it. the storytelling so far. Before we head downstairs. The statue, the barbecue grill, whatever is out there. Whoa! Oh no, that's just a... Uh, I thought that was the moon. <laughs> that Grandpa Sam did all the taxidermy stuff. Light? Nope. There should be a pool table down here. I should have brought the crutch with me. Oh, there's the pool table. Her boyfriend, Rick, was also missing since. That makes me wonder too, does anyone else live on this island? And why didn't they come down here? Why do they need a secret key to come down here when the laundry machine is down here? How did they do their laundry? They have to play the music box every time to come down and do laundry. Some things are not making sense to me. But... Oh. Okay. Let's continue on. Obviously. Sven's workshop. Okay. Mom said the basement was off limits, unless I wanted another tetanus shot. <laughs> okay, fair. Sh uh, but that's still kind of weird why you need a key from the music box to come down here to do laundry. I can imagine nails and stuff. Wasn't there supposed to be a fridge here? Oh. Oh, is that the dragon in the lake? Looks like it should have been a slide. Mm. Gram glow. 
There's a phone down here. Wow. Ancient. I don't think people know how to use that anymore. I saw Edie sneak down to the basement once, carrying packages. Packages of what and... do I have a flashlight? It's kind of dark down here. Oh, there is the fridge. <sighs> oh, no. Wanna open that? I thought maybe she was hiding presents. <laughs> I'd like to believe she's hiding presents. Um, don't be a dead body. Oh! It turned out she was hiding a lot more than that. Whoa. At least it wasn't a dead body. Oh. Okay. It's, it's like a whole submarine built into the... Oh, I can't see. It's too dark. Oh, whoa. Does this lead to the thing outside? How is this still running? I remember asking mom once about where Walter had gone. She said after Barbara died, he got as far away as he could. Oh. oh. Yeah, I would be traumatized by that too. If something like that really happened. <laughs> wow. These things look like they're still in mint condition. Soup. Cereal. This is like a bunker. If there's a pattern in all these stories. Yes. If there's a pattern, yes. Walter just built a life for himself down here. I think it's that none of us has gotten very far. He just lived like this in this built bunker with a working faucet sink. I thought that was a toilet, but I think that's a sink. Could be. Oh no, this is a shower. So he showered and washed dishes in this same place with the toilet there. Shaved, shaved, a lot of shaving cream. So obviously he was traumatized enough to just run and build a life into this bunker with snacks and cereals and he liked to build model trains. I, I just can't imagine. He didn't... Oh, what do I do first? The window? Or the book? Let's do the window. Um... This obviously it's a imaginative fake outdoors, but he was actually hiding underground. Oh, he has records and a bamboo. Oh, I don't want to open that yet. Let's see what happened to Walter after he was traumatized. Oh, what? It's like he, 2005. It's like, he lived a long time down here. Uh, 
47? No. Is he 47 years old? Uh, this is like... I guess... I want to say, did he become a hermit? Or... I don't know. Like... It still makes you wonder what exactly set him off to become... Well, obviously, I don't know how old he is. He's... Is it 53? No, wait. Fifty-three. Yeah, I can't do math. <laughs> okay. He lived for quite a long time. And he has little model trains and... Hello from China. Alright, let's... And his radio is still going. Didn't they say that in the other story? How the radio was still going? Alright, Walter. What? Goodbye, everyone. I can't believe I've been down here for 30 years. On that first day, after the shaking started, I didn't think I'd survive a week. Oh, I love these little time slip travels. But after a few days, I settled into a routine. That's what kept me sane. Having a schedule, living for today. Oh, he just ate. I was expected to be dead tomorrow. But if you wait long enough, you get used to anything. Wait. Are these shaking like earthquakes? Volcanic eruptions? Wow, I don't know Even what... Even a monster on the other side of the door starts to feel normal. Almost friendly. And then one day, everything just... Stopped. Whatever that thing was, it was gone. Maybe it got tired of waiting. Or maybe I just got tired of being afraid. Couldn't have. It's been a week now. The longest in 30 years. I'm done waiting. I have to leave. Oh. I still can. Oh, did he actually try to escape? But first, I want to say, did he just live off of canned peaches for 30 years? Even though... Oh, this chair is blocking me. He had, like, rice and baked beans and cereal. He just did canned peaches. I guess he slept up there and worked on model pra models in under the bed. Okay. Wow, wait. It actually had a sort of no, that's still not real. I have to leave while I still can. He also read a lot. It's nice that his book collection looks different. Then the oh look at that book, the Finch Curse, right there. The Finch Curse. There's another one over there. Oh, and this just reminds me too, when I started the game last week, 
I feel like the game developers were trying to lead me into the garage. Like that was the only part of the game that had like music, wind chime. It's suppose I suppose it was like here is a hint. Go through the door and I did not pick up on the hint at all. Bad with these games. Okay, so now I have to leave. So what did he try to do at 53? And what was this built for? He knew this was here because there are books and storage here. The Finch Curse. Warding away spirits. Spiritual warfare. Echoes from afar. Uh oh, we're gonna start seeing books we saw upstairs now. Finch curse. This game is telling me something. The Finch curse. How many copies to tell yourself you are cursed? <laughs> 101 survival techniques. Yeah, he's been here. Look at the plastic models and the cereals. They've been here. So why does he think this is going away by coming this way and not... I know it's out there somewhere. Okay. Brown rice that you never eat. Pea soup that you've left here. Walter, I don't know what to think. But I suppose if you've been surrounded by books that say the Finch curse, there's not much you can do. Whatever killed Barbara. Oh, he's still haunted by that. And Molly. Is Molly his sister? It's a lot of cereal. And Calvin. But your brother Sam made it. Chunkies. Oh, oh. Hold on. This is a dead end. Oh, this is like a trash compos. Uh, what do you do? Like a trash composite? But these can't be empty. Peanut butter. might stink down here is my guess. Maybe this is all a mistake. What? But I need to stop oh. living the same day. Even if it kills me. Oh. Okay. I thought he hit his head and killed himself. He actually broke the wall. Whew. Okay, Walter, I'm gonna give Edith s some hope. Whatever's out there, I want you to know I'm ready for it. It sounds almost hopeful, but uh, feels like the, the curse. I appreciate all of it, especially the food. Wow, but he waited 30 years. Don't tell me a train's gonna come right through here because I will be very angry. I don't mind if I only have a year left. Wait, why does he know he only has a year left? That's very odd. Or a month. Oh, or even a month. Or a single week. What? What? I'd be happy with one long day. It took him 30 years to do this step. 
Let me just give him at least a little bit longer than one moment. Let's... Can we go back? Don't tell me a train's gonna come through this tunnel out of nowhere. I broke through that hole. Crawled out of here. And it looks like train tracks. Am I gonna get run over by a train? Why would you? Why, what? First of all, why would there be a. What is it? Not a hammer, but. Uh, Alright, this tells me I'm gonna get run over by a train. But that does, didn't kill Barbara or Molly. They didn't get run over by trains. There's still so much more to explore in this game. And if I go to the right, maybe I'll get them. I can already imagine the sun on my face. Oh my goodness! Walter died when I was six. I can't believe my mom never told me he was down here. <sighs> I looked in the back for the train. The train came in front of me. I just wondered why, why, why would you break the, th why was that? hammer thing <sighs> all right maybe your whole family is cursed i'm beginning to feel that and he literally ate peaches for 30 years of his life but he died from a train my hands are in the air <laughs> okay i'm sure my mom was trying to protect me Was she because she thought your grand uncle was crazy? That he lived in the bunker for 30 years and I obviously the food was brought to him by Edie. He had electricity. He knew what a microwave is, was. So bizarre to me, and it gets weirder and weirder too. Oh, lift it. Please don't die by a train here. Maybe she was afraid I'd end up like Walter. That I would bury my uh hide myself away oh look he had a book here i didn't notice earlier barbara finch child star but everything has been the same Whew. i am um, like this is super exciting to me too. But if but she never told me about an uncle under the house. What else did she not tell me? Hmm. I can only imagine what else she was hiding. Yep, those were my same thoughts. There's the mallet that broke the wall. 
At least I don't want to make the same mistakes she made. Yeah. I don't either. Looks a little different than when he was living here. Sort of. Okay. And Trying to bury something that's still alive. I'm assuming now that there's that only one of us left, or maybe two. Two, maybe two. Why? Who? Dad? But does that count as a finch? Not really, I guess. Maybe two. Does she think Walter might be still alive? Just mom didn't tell the truth. I thought it was time I heard the stories for myself. Yeah. And found out what happened to everyone else. Did Walter make it out alive? Or... But now I'm worried the stories themselves might be the problem. I... Edith, you're confusing me a little bit here. I, I thought I was understanding what's happening. I'm not sure right now. Maybe we believed so much in a family curse. We made it real. Walter. Right? Do you think he's still living out there? What is that beacon? Well, look, this island does have more people. There's lights out there. <laughs> I mean, yeah, literally, he did find the light at the end of the tunnel. I... But when she said two of us are alive, according to the book, there's no one left alive except maybe for dad, but I suppose he doesn't count as a finch. They were just married into the family, right? So if she's alive... And Mom was the last person to die, though. <sighs> All right. I think I'm jumping into the water to either that. Oh, it's nighttime now. The moon's out. There's no going back. Oh, wait, no? I'm not jumping in. Okay. Oh, there's a path here. I was ready to jump in the lake, actually. Um, but I guess that's not where the story is going. I don't know if I should even be writing this. Why not? What is that? Oh, it's like a totem. That same look. Maybe it'd be better if all this just died with me. Oh, it's kind of ominous. That looks like the same totem that was in the house in Barbara's... Is that a light... like a light sensor? Hmm... We still have... one... Two, three, four, five, six more stories, I think, to complete. If that's correct. But I thought you should know about your family. Who is she telling this to? She has a kid?
Am I pregnant? No, I, if I'm pregnant, then who am I talking to? No, 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 okay, sorry, forget that. Because if she said I died, <laughs> then she couldn't have given birth yet. Okay, I, I, never mind. Forget that train of thought. I don't know what I'm saying. And the history you're a part of. No, wait, that's so confusing. How? 10, 2010. This when we fled the house. No, no, no. You couldn't have had kids yet. We haven't even gone to the very top yet. Oh, the lights turned off. I oh, okay, they light up again if I walk. Okay, there are light sensors. Just checking. That would take me back to the to the statue up there, which I was curious about. Would this let me go into the water? I want to know what that board is. And I want to know what that blinking red light is. Can I swim? Oh no, I think I'm just stopped. Okay. I guess I have to go up. <laughs> I keep playing this like a Final Fantasy game. I keep pressing forward and hitting R and hope she will auto run <laughs> while I take a glass, drink a sip of water or something. I still say Molly's story was the most- Though to be honest, I feel as lost as you probably do right now. Who's telling the story now? But yes, Molly's story was the most fantastical one of all, so far. I think the people in these stories believed them, for what that's worth. A nice property if it weren't so strange. Looking out onto those houses out there. It's hard to, I mean if there's a train on this island. I wonder if this is a spoiler or not. is kind of nice. That was another thing I was trying to remember. In the game, she was heading towards... I'm going to say this wrong. Puget? Sound? So, is that in Washington? I'm sort of asking myself too, but I feel like it is, but I can't remember. I think we're going towards the statue up there. And when you look at the house, that history of imagination and stubbornness and madness It's a pretty wild house. Any of it seems possible. Wait a minute, she can't have a kid. We, we determined 
We're 17. <laughs> I mean, it's possible, but I don't think this is where that story is going. But I'm trying to figure out who she's writing this story for then. I guess if she's trying to tell a future kid or me or something. This is the other side where we first entered. No, wait, no, this is the back side from the living room in the back. We saw the barbecue pit, but it's all dark now. It's interesting how time has passed. Oh, and this was the people I looked through earlier. Oh, wow. And so there should have been a... Oh, there it is. I didn't notice the blinking red light in the distance. But I do remember the swing. I think we've been surrounded by death for so long, we've just gotten used to it. Yeah, considering how many people passed. I, it's such a mystery with this family and I'm intrigued. What kind of family finishes building a cemetery before starting the house? It's <laughs> a good question. That's a nice view. And if I have to guess, this is what I imagine um, Washington to look like. Pine trees. I know I should stop taking screenshots, but I like to document. Well, there's a cemetery. It's embarrassing for me to admit this, but... The pet cemetery may be more uncomfortable than the human one. So, up until now, I don't think I've met the other pets. But we've definitely met all the birds. Derpy, Zerpy, Lurpy, Furpy, Chirpy, Burpy, Derpy, Derpy Jr. We've definitely met those. I'm not sure about the other Three pets. Three of the gerbils were mine, and two had been my fault. Oh, the gerbils too. Molly had a gerbil. Oh! They even look, look at the, the, okay, Christopher was a fish, Shadow was a cat, Oliver was a rabbit, Bob looks like a dog, can't tell Shatsy and Bailey, but I assume they're dogs. Is that kind of silly, but that's a, sort of a cute grave <laughs> marker for the pets. And another dog, Lucy. Which ones are the gerbils? Can't tell which is a frog. Oh, it scared me for a second because I saw Edie. I'm like, that's me? No, it's the great grandmother. So, mom was still alive to have done all this, to bury... Sven Good. built the house, but it was Edie who designed the cemetery. Interesting. Oh, remember Molly had the cat ears and the hawk? Calvin with the spaceship. Then with the crafting. Oh, now they actually showed it months and the dates. Loved books. Walter was 
Okay, so he did die. Oh wow, I somehow thought that. Or... I was imagining him out on an island. Can I get any closer on these? No. Nope. Walter has a cool one with the... Oh, and like a Hollywood star for Barbara. Wait a minute. So, she didn't make one for Sam. Molly, Barbara, Calvin, Walter. But she didn't make one for Sam, even though she was alive when Sam died. And she didn't make one for her grandkids who died before her as well. There's no Sam, right? Yeah, my dad's, my grandfather's is not here. That's weird. Okay, maybe he's up there. <laughs> That's my I'm only... sure Odin's monument had been Edie's idea. Oh, okay. Odin and maybe her mother. Ingrid. My mom was always trying to move on, but for Edie, the past never went away. What an interesting sculpture. Right? Why is it, wasn't there a grave marker for? Sam, he passed. She could see it poking out of the water at low tide. I'm gonna double check. I didn't miss grandfathers, which she knew also died. This is such a weird stuff. The side was always easier for me to understand. Oh, there's more. Oh, there's more some graves over there. Okay. Hold on. I want to look through those. The telescope. Edie said she dreamed about the old house every night. Oh. was the original house. There's a beacon there. Is this the old house that her dad built? Okay, oops. This is the current house that her husband Sven built, but she still dreams about the house that her father built. I want to know what that is. But now we know... Can we still look again? No, we can't. Okay. Did we find out what happened to that house? Like, why did it sink? Or was that part of the story where they said they first came over? Alright, I might have to recap that. Okay. Let's finish the cemetery part. But the older I get, the more I can see where my mom was coming from. Oh, there's Sam. Gus and Gregory. So this is like a more practical burial, whereas Edie's had a bit more of a... I don't know how to describe it, but a bit more of a 
imaginative, like the, the stories, but her mom was like, no, we're just gonna keep it simple, practical. Her dad had been pretty strict, but it wasn't enough to save her brothers. She was just trying to do better. Yeah, Gregory died at one. Gus, not much. 70, 13? Gus Gregory, yeah, her, her, her brothers died young too. Her dad probably was like, this is crazy. My f oh. Oh. Dad died. Oh no, I thought her dad was still alive. <sighs> we don't even know where Kay is. But we know Sven is dead. So my dad is like Indian, I'm guessing from the name. Please don't, <sighs> don't get mad at me if I was wrong. I'm just guessing based on the name, but there's no mention of K here at all. Okay, here's my current family's grave. Which looks more practical almost, except for Milton and Lewis has something on their top of their graves. Wait. What? Why does Milton not have 2003? It's just born. Oh, because her mom didn't think he died, she still held out hope that he was alive somewhere. So is that why Edith said maybe two of us? Even though they put 2003. Dad died in 2002. She lost two of her brothers, just like I did. I get why she tried so hard to protect us. I can see that. I'm sure after one of them passed, she... oh. We never found Milton's body, so my mom insisted we were putting up a monument, not a tombstone. I see. We don't even know what happened to him. keep going but I wonder how much whew. let's try just a little longer and then we'll call it a night since I am so beat from t tonight or from the day but wow so many revelations today story keeps going Okay, let's go up, back up. There's so many things I wish I could ask my mom now. Part of me thinks this is what she wanted all along. For me to come back someday. And find everything out for myself. Yeah, we still got lots to figure out. Wonder what mom knows that she didn't want to tell us. Whew. All right, let's just go on a little bit more. I go up to a tree house. All oh, right, that was where Molly's cat had came down on. I'm gonna guess there's nothing else here but to go up.
still. I'm but seven. Looking back on it now. I was gonna say I'm still seventeen. I think. If she told me there was gonna be so much climbing. <laughs> Yeah. I never would have come when I was 22 weeks pregnant. <gasps> See? Wait a minute. I did think I was pregnant. 22 weeks pregnant. But why did the start of the story, I think, 17-year-old me? Where, where did I get lost? Am I 17 and 22 weeks present? Pregnant? Oh my goodness, I can't figure out the time here. The timeline. Okay, let's just say I'm 22 weeks pregnant. Oh, I'm lost. It's okay. I, I, see, when I she's at two of us, maybe. But I couldn't tell if I had been born yet. Oh my goodness, you really shouldn't walk across something like this at 22 weeks. Okay. Considering the curse of your family. Sorry, I'm trying to do math in my head. Like, so it's four in my slightly drunk brain. Eight, twelve, three months, four months, five, like almost six months pregnant. So there's someone else, at least. She got out to meet someone and now she's pregnant. So the question is, you go through, and that could be why she's had trouble walking through. Okay, I didn't want to walk on glass. Crawling through some of the. I never uh, met Grandpa Sam, but I think he and my mom had a lot in common. Well, she never met her grandpa. Another barbecue grill. Milk bottles for as bird feeders. All right, let's find out. They were both pretty intense. Oh, yeah, I figured he would do hunting. Sam spent his life shooting photos, but Mom said he got nervous being in front of the camera. I guess we're all afraid of something. Okay. Sam. It's my grandfather. And he was in the war. But he had... Sam. Three kids. I guess that's his first wife, Kay, who made the bathroom pink. If I'm guessing correctly from the picture. Oh. Finch. <laughs> the sunglasses look almost fake. Instead of hiding from death, Sam seemed to go out of his way to meet it. That's why I kept looking down and started to wonder. It's a nice room though. Except for it being dark. Ha! Chris's bird hunt. You know, I'm sad to say we haven't found any more books 
that we saw in the living room. Kay, his first wife, huh? Oh, it is Washington. Orcas Island in Washington. Oh, what? What? What is that sound? Right, so she's writing this, but if she dies before the baby is born, then that would be the end of it. Oof. Am I the baby that she's telling the story to? Am I cursed? Or I could try to break the curse. Okay. Well, let's go see Sam's story. Oh, there's an engagement ring or something. I thought it was Lewis, but that's Sam. Okay. Dawn, I promise you'll never forget this Dawn. weekend. Yes, sir. These memories are going to last a lifetime. Mm hmm. Am I going to have to shoot anything? It's a hunting trip, Dawn. Shooting is strongly encouraged. <sighs> Who's Dawn? Shouldn't we be leaving? Just want to get a shot of you, Dawn. Then we can take off. Shot of you. Where are you? Oh, over there. Not quite. Do I have to focus? Oh my goodness. What? Okay. Perfect. It's gonna rain the whole weekend, isn't it? Why would I take a picture of that? Yeah, but... Uh, I will never uh, forget this weekend, Dad. That's the spirit! Oh, okay, dude. got it. I'm gonna take some pictures, okay? Just be careful. The camera's older than you are. Oh, Dawn, that's my mother! And Olden Finch? This, there's a national... You're right, Dad, it's starting to clear up. Still freezing. Weird seeing my mom like this. Oh, oops. Aw. I guess I'm supposed to find where this is fun. This is where I have to find where the story is supposed to lead to, but so far not the right pictures yet. Definitely should not have drunk all that coffee. Oh. Hmm. Hold still while I take a picture of you. Ah. I hey! <laughs> <laughs> That's a keeper. <laughs> I'm just saying, I'm not always going to be here, Don. You'll need to remember this stuff if you want to survive. I'll be fine, Dad. You know who else thought he was going to be fine? Some guy who died. Don, I'm being serious. I know, Dad. You're always serious. Doesn't being out here make you want to chill out? Well, to tell you the truth, I haven't been out here in 20 years. Well, I kind of really like this moment. Seeing your mom with your dad, having an intimate kind of conversation between Last father and daughter. Calvin. Man, that was a great trip. Mentioned Calvin here. Your grandpa's fan taught us how. Don, don't you think you could Oops. find something more interesting to photograph? Oh no, I cut off part of the dialogue. You're. Oh. We found an old logging trail. There were deer everywhere. Your grandpa. I bet if I could remember where that trail was, we'd spot a buck for you in no time. I missed the dialogue there. Ugh. Give me a minute to check the map. Shouldn't have clicked that. It's about something about my grandfather used to know something. Let's see. Oh, I feel 
bad and I missed that. Ugh. My grandpa's Fen used to say. Could have been. I don't think this is what they're supposed to take pictures of. Then film was very expensive. I feel like I'm wasting my film, but uh, that wasn't it. S Finch. That wasn't it. Snacker stackers. <laughs> that wasn't it. Oh, the bird. Dad. Oh, Good oh eyes, dear. Dawn. Before you take the shot, let me get a picture of you. I'm enjoying this part a lot. The father-daughter moment. I really, really like that. Dad, I... Just breathe. Turn off your imagination. Focus on your target. Survive. You'll need to be strong. <sighs> it's kind now of keep a yourself squared up, elbows down, like we practiced. Whenever you're ready. Oh no, I have to shoot the deer. Well, at least with my camera. This is a pretty sentimental moment. Seeing that deer at the start as well. Great shot, Don! Whoa. Uh, yeah, I figured. Uh, yeah, I kind of figured that. I'm proud of you, Don. Always remember that, okay? It's tough. Sorry, Don. Just gotta reset the timer. Oh. What? what? <laughs> nope. <laughs> Wait. Ah. Dad, it, it's twitching. I think That's it's totally silly. normal, Don. Just focus on the camera. Try not to think about. Dad. Oh. oh! stories that's the one I wish most that my mom had told me that <laughs> that shocked me more than it should have <sighs> I can already see you <laughs> saying that as everything is just burning in the background <laughs> whoo wow did not expect that to take the turn why is the house still creaking okay wow We've discovered what has happened to the grand uncles and aunts in our family. 
is everything really fine? I don't know. Um... I guess so. And Walter sort of was... I, it, it, sort of, he's like, I'm finally breaking free, in a sense. He escaped that room he was in. I mean, these stories are all so... fantastical that... I... like Edith, I'm like, is it real? Calvin was... my heart still, like, I remember just... <laughs> what? Yeah. So her granddad died before her mom grew up, so she never got to meet him. There's a picture of a... Uh, oh right, her, his brother on the swings flying away. <laughs> a and the picture of him falling off the cliff right there. I think the camera captured that moment if uh It makes me think that even though they're embellished like if that were the case what exactly happened the heat really fly off the swing and just go shoo into the ocean her dad wasn't even that old yet wow okay Whew. imagine you are the kid who gets to now hear about these stories and what you should make of it. Don't know where this door leads to. Was that the one in the third floor attic? Must be. I don't imagine them climbing that fence every day just to come to the bedroom. I am curious, by the time this whole adventure is over, what were your thoughts on this? And, you know, what were some of the things that you thought of? Like, what went through your mind when you were experiencing this? That would be kind of interesting to see. And maybe if the writers intended the same reactions or not. Probably. It is kind of linear, but... I don't know. People might have different ideas. Yes. I am definitely getting a much better idea. I mean, yes. I'm still hoping it's not going that way. I mean, I feel like obviously this is a past, but we'll see. We'll see. I, I, I don't know exactly 100% where it's going yet. I'm still remaining optimistic. Um, Gus, I think. I'm not sure. But we have Gregory, who was one years old, and we... I mean, I guess we don't know what his story is. But uh, he was, when we looked into the bedroom, in, he had the toilet room, which we've already gone through. And Gus wasn't very... I feel like Gus was on the swing set now, too. So was Mil Milton. 
12. Yeah, when she first said maybe the two of us, I thought Milton was somehow still alive. But yeah, I don't think that anymore. Okay, I'm going to go out into the room. Into the attic. And I was hoping this was going to take me to out back into the living room so that I could stop there. But that didn't happen. Um... I wonder if I should stop at this point now. Oh, there's a baby crib? Or like some sort of... You have those to prevent like pets or animals from coming out. Why is this in the attic? After Sam died, my mom and Edie got really close. They'd both lost a lot. Uh... I mean, Sam did live a long time, longer than anyone else. Well, except for Walter, but they kind of just let Walter live. In that bunker. Oh. Crayons. Looks like a child's play set. No, he didn't. He was just underground, which wasn't really living. Oh, here's Gregory. Oh. <laughs> I was wondering how he survived 30 years eating that, only to get out break the wall and get hit by a train like you can't live off of canned food for i mean canned fruits for 30 years <laughs> okay oh oh this is the bedroom of the three of them I still kind of thought that maybe we would go out to where that red beacon is, but I guess not. There's a pole. I don't think I'm going to climb that pole. Out. Oh! Oh. She, she just decided to crawl back. Okay. Alright, let's do one more room, and then call it a night, if the game will let me. Teamwork, respect, strength. So her dad was trying to like give them this sort of military... That's kind of weird if you kept your baby brother's crib next to you. Alright, let's see what happened to Gregory. Oh, what? Divorce. Uh, wait, what? Gregory was born in 1976. He was the last of these three kids. Okay. Calendar days after this summons is served on you to file a written response. Phone call will not protect you. Your written response. If you do not file, you may lose the case. So, okay. Oh, that's all we read is that. Why is this? Oh, I forgot You're to... Okay. Do you remember the way Gregory used to laugh when he thought he was alone? Like something funny was happening, but only he could see it. Oh, 
the start of the next part of the story. <laughs> the music. <laughs> okay. Well, it's a bit... Gregory, it's time to hold on, sweetie. <gasps> no. Hello.
I know you did everything you could. Maybe if I hadn't caught that knife. Because Damn it. Greg he was one year old when he died. Hold on, I don't want Gregory to hear this. We know that he was one years old. So, oh no. He's going to turn the water on. Oh. Yes, there are bubbles here, sort of. Go. I wonder if that's intentional because I can't seem to knock the rest of it. And again, warning for anyone. This is. I wish he could have told us about the world he saw. Yeah. Anyone who's joining right now, I'm so sorry. There's uh, so much I don't understand uh, about Gregory, about everything. Oh, I see. He thinks he's the frog now. Oh, I'm stuck. What, can I jump? Oh. But I know what happened wasn't your fault. It's so hard to play through this part. Like. I mean, I know none of them have a happy <laughs> ending, but I feel awful just stopping it right here. <sighs> I don't think this would have been easy for anyone. Wow. Okay. Oh, I feel so stupid getting so worked up over it, but, okay. Oh, it's, it's, uh. Yeah. I don't think that that would have been, yeah, that's definitely not easy. Sorry, my nose is all stuffed up now. <laughs> uh. Yeah, I think they did, a, did a definitely a very good job writing something that's not easy to convey. And to tell. I, I don't know if, yeah. Oh, thank you for joining in that part. I, I have to say, I, I can't let it stop there, even though I know other stories are just as tragic. But it just, I can't, I don't think I can go to bed with just that. So. I can't don't... imagine my mom ever writing poetry, and yet... Gus. I mean, her mom lost both brothers. Was there anything else here, just to make sure? I mean, there's... Yeah, not much. Let's take a quick look at Gus here, then. 
and sorry. Oof. A poem for Gus, who always said the wedding was a bad idea. Our father never hit us kids, at least not very hard, before the day my brother said with teenage disregard that he'd be dead before he'd see a wedding in our yard. Who is getting married? I see um, his father, their father is getting remarried, maybe, because after the divorce from Kay, although it's not noted in the book. You think it's Sam and Kay, but I thought Sam and Kay had a divorce and Don and... Um, her brother Gus were kids, whereas Kay's kids, I thought. I feel like this must be their dad's second marriage. And obviously, the brother was not happy about dad remarrying another mother. I'm, I'm guessing. <laughs> My father made him come, of course, but she stood. Uh, I guess I should. I should just use the kite to find out what it says. <laughs> My father made him come, of course, but Gus stood far apart, just flew his kite and bottled up the storm inside his heart. Okay. That was better than me trying to read it backwards. I tried to talk him out of it, but though he'd never met me, we don't need a stepmom, were the words that I now pronounce you. Husband and wife. Okay. Make so it's not in the book. Whoop. <laughs> I I was guessing that's what they would because the after divorce maybe a stepmother was coming up. Ah. <sighs> and my brain is still reeling from that last scene though but um, at least I can understand her brother's um, anger about getting another mom oh my nose is so stuffed up after this <laughs> oh oh look oh. When the time for photos came, Dad ordered him to come, come here. here. But Gus declined and as a sign held up his middle finger. Oh. <laughs> Very angry. I wonder how old they were when uh, his dad got remarried. Or when their dad got remarried. Excuse me one second. Okay. Uh, a kite and lightning in the distance. Okay, that doesn't bode well. did that day was go inside the tent oh no <laughs> I almost think I know where this is okay on one hand it's pretty 
Oh, and I hate to say it, but cliche what's going to happen, but... Oh, I can pick up chairs. I'm angry here. The rain came down in buckets then, but no one seemed afraid that nature might destroy the tent our dad had crudely made. Imagine getting remarried and, uh... Uh-oh, your kid. Just, um... How would the stepmother feel? Even... Cursed? The thunder sounded much too close and full of angry power. But all my father said to this was, Make the music louder. I got a ton of, uh... Ornaments. that I could truly say I thought about you on that day. Out there on the beach alone, just you, the wind, the sea, and foam. But I didn't, until we found you. Oh. That was a much different ending than I thought. He even has a mohawk. She never talked about him, but mom told me once if I was a boy, they were going to name me Gus. <laughs> Wow. But they didn't name the other two boys Gus. But that is pretty rough. Oh, that's the same sympathy card that we saw in Grandma's room. Okay. Uh, please give me just one minute to collect my thoughts. Um, I will be right back, but I'm probably going to finish up here. I'm not sure how much more shock I can take from this. So just give me one minute. I'll be right back to wrap this up. Thank you so much for staying so long. Um, I'll be right back. All right, I am back and there's still creaking in the house. Um, but 
thank you for joining for so long. Have you had your lunch break yet? Oh, mac and cheese. <laughs> I'm glad you had some food. Oh, I honestly thought I was going to finish the stream earlier tonight, but this game, I was like one door after another. It's just, I couldn't, I couldn't stop clicking. I, I actually still want to go on, but it's already midnight here and my, my work week was pretty exhausting <laughs> it is oh. each story is like a page turning page turner in a book and i still want to know more um but we don't we have just a couple of stories left here and i think that would be a great part for next time um yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. Um, thank you so much for sticking with me, even though you were busy with work. <laughs> um, I appreciate it. And I hope you have a great rest of your weekend. <laughs> You're welcome. Thank you so much, too. Um, thanks for following. I'll keep in touch with you um, through X and Twitch and all that. And have a great rest of your day. Um, it's the holidays, so have a nice weekend and hope you have a longer weekend, longer three-day weekend. And I will see you next time. Thank you so much again. Have a great day. Thank you too. Bye.